Chile and Turkey are in talks to modernize the Chilean Army's Martyr 1A3 Infantry Fighting Vehicles IFVs, following the successful collaboration on the upgrade of the Leopard 2A4 CHL main battle tanks. The modernization discussions, initially focused on the Leopard tanks under the Proeco program, now extend to the Martyr IFVs, signaling the growing defense partnership between the two nations. Turkish defense giant Aselsan, already involved in the Leopard 2A4 upgrade, is expected to play a key role in the Martyr 1A3's potential overhaul. Chile's fleet of Martyr 1A3S, comprising around 270 vehicles, is the second largest in the world after Germany. The Chilean army initially acquired 146 second-hand martyrs from Germany in 2008, gradually expanding the fleet with additional units. These vehicles were chosen to replace the aging Dutch YPR-765 and American M113 IFVs, which were no longer deemed compatible with the newer Leopard 2A4 tanks. The Martyr 1A3S were integrated into Chile's mechanized forces as part of the broader Centurion project, which sought to enhance the Army's operational capabilities with modernized armored units. The Martyr 1A3 is a formidable IFV, equipped with a rainmetal 20 Malawian Quachas RH202 20mm autocannon and a coaxial MG3 machine gun, offering both high-explosive and armor-piercing ammunition. The vehicle's armor provides protection against small arms fire and up to 30mm caliber rounds from the front. With a top road speed of 65 km per hour and a combat weight of 33.5 tons, the Martyr combines mobility with strong firepower. It can carry a crew of three and transport six soldiers, making it highly versatile on the battlefield. Its combat range is impressive, extending to 520 km on roads and 280 km off-road, supported by a 600-horsepower diesel engine. In addition to the Martyr's main armament, Chile has invested in extensive training for its personnel at the Sikambak facility in Iquique, which also offers maintenance courses for the Martyr fleet. As of July 2021, over 50 soldiers have completed comprehensive training on the Martyr and other key vehicles in Chile's armored fleet, including the Piranha 6x6 APC. As part of a long-term modernization plan, Chile's Martyr 1A3S underwent several upgrades between 1989 and 1998 in Germany, which included reinforced side skirts and improved stowage. The most recent variant, the A5A1, features enhanced mine protection and integrated air conditioning systems. These upgrades make the Martyr a well-rounded combat vehicle, capable of meeting modern battlefield demands. A Selsun's involvement in the Martyr upgrade would build on its extensive experience with Turkey's own ACV-15 IFVs. The potential upgrade package for Chile's Martyr 1A3 could include advanced fire control systems, new turrets such as the Nefer armed with 25mm or 30mm cannons, and anti-tank missile capabilities. Furthermore, Aselsan's expertise in electro-optical sensors and remote weapon stations could significantly enhance the vehicle's combat effectiveness. The collaboration might also benefit from contributions from Roketsen, which could provide modular armor systems for improved protection. In addition to supporting Chile's defense modernization efforts, Aselsan has been expanding its presence in Latin America. The company opened a regional office in Chile in 2025 to support existing projects and pursue new defense contracts across the region. During the FIDE 2024 exhibition, Aselsan showcased its latest work on the Leopard 2A4 upgrade, which includes new fire control systems, advanced thermal and daylight sites, and modernized internal communications equipment. This growing defense cooperation between Chile and Turkey underscores the shared commitment to enhancing military capabilities through cutting-edge technology and international partnerships. The proposed Martyr 1A3 modernization project represents a significant step forward in the bilateral defense relations between the two countries, with the potential to set a new standard for armored vehicle capabilities in the region.